Hey guys, Scott from Hidden Valley Homestead. We had zero cell reception at our homestead in our Hidden Valley. We went from zero cell reception, not even a text message could get out, to two to three bars of 4G. Watch this video and I'll show you how we did it. It's easy, anybody can do it. Now it's still not good enough for streaming internet, uh, but we definitely don't want to pay for satellite TV or satellite internet. If I can get everything on my cell phone, I will. So watch this video, I'll show you how we did it. It's real easy. Uh, it's not super expensive. Stay tuned for part two this spring and I'm gonna be upgrading the system and hopefully we can get five bars of 4G. Hey guys, Scott from Hidden Valley Homestead. I want to tell you guys a little bit about our cell phone reception issues that, uh, that we had up here. When we first bought this place, we had zero reception. There was nothing. We couldn't, we couldn't send a text message. There wasn't even one bar of, of 1G up here. So having watched uh, Heath over there from Red Poppy Ranch, I watched him put up what was called a WeBoost system. Uh, we're not sponsored by WeBoost. Uh, Wilson Electronics is who makes, makes this thing. And if you Google WeBoost, you'll see it. And I bought it through Best Buy. Uh, again, we're not sponsored by and not getting any kind of uh, incentive to talk about it. Just letting you guys know where to get this from. Now, when we bought this, we instantly got a couple of bars of uh, one, one G, two G. Uh, I'm not sure what you would classify that. Maybe one or two bars of three G. Um, and so I had to do a couple things with the antenna in order to to get a little bit better reception. Then I'm gonna do some more things to get even better reception. But now we have between two and three bars of 4G LTE at times, depending on the, depending on the weather. So there's something that I'm gonna to do to it and we'll talk about in a minute. But I'm gonna show you guys right now, I'm gonna turn it off. See, it's still showing right now. Well, uh, can you see that? It's still showing three bars of reception right here, but that's not accurate. There it goes. Now it's showing no service. Can you see that? <clears throat> okay, let me turn it on now. There. Now you can see the reception popping up. Was it showing three bars or four bars? Mm -hmm. They're almost full reception inch. One bar of uh, four, four bars of one G. Or is it showing three Gs? I can't have my glasses on. That's saying one, one times one G. So anyway, that gives you an idea of of how much reception we're actually getting with this system. Um, it's it's powered by one. It's got a one ten um, adapter to it. And I believe it's 24 volts. I have to double check that, but let me, let me show you the system. Okay. Thank you. Honey. So this is the, this is the amplifier right here. Okay. It's got a plug in a 110 plug in, and then I, I believe it's 24 volt. Now what the kit comes from is it comes with this brain right here. This is the amplifier. It comes with two rolls. 75 feet of this it's a shielded coaxial cable it's called rg213 which is a pretty good cable now this cable right here is coming from outside and we'll go outside in a second and i'll show you what's going on outside but this cable right here i'm actually going to get rid of all of that cable because i don't want to have it um, what they call a choke point or have any interference they say there's no interference because the, the cable is shielded but it goes up to the inside antenna. And that's where we're getting our reception is from that little doohickey right there. Okay. So this one is their 4G, the WeBoost 4G. They have three different levels. And I bought the most powerful big one that I could possibly get. So let's go outside and I'll show you what's going on outside. It makes a big difference what you do with your antenna. Okay guys, 
So this is the antenna portion, okay? This is where the, the Weeboo system was on the inside of the house. Now I'm gonna show you, as we go up, the cable goes up, and I have it going across to this flagpole right here, okay? Now there's the antenna all the way at the top up there. Now that is the antenna that WeBoost provides with their kit. Now, the one that I bought was basically 900 bucks. That includes the amplifier, the antenna, two sections, 75 foot cable, and then the interior antenna, all right? Now the antenna that they provide has what they call D, a DBI or gain of, of eight, which is, which is pretty good. And that's, that's a basic system for you, okay? The cable they give you is good cable. It's a good antenna. It's not cheap. Um, really, the, the, what you're probably paying for more is, is the brains right there. But the cable is, is good cable, and it's a good antenna. Now, I had reached out to uh, another uh, off-grid uh, YouTuber, and that's Jack over there at Ham Homestead. Go check out his channel. Uh, he's got some really, really good. That guy is that guy's super smart. He's he's probably forgotten more than I'll ever know. Um, but he has got some excellent information on um, solar, um, ham radio stuff, all kinds of cool stuff. I'm also a ham radio operator as well. Um, anybody ever want to try and get a hold of me? It's KK6HPX. Um, so I talked to a ham radio guy, just seeing if he would because they have a really good working knowledge of of antennas and gain and whatnot. Looked online, and um, I got referred through some of my local electronic stores to a place uh, that sells nothing but telecommunications equipment, cable, raw cable, antennas, all kinds of stuff. Um, and having talked to one of the salesmen who was real knowledgeable about that, I asked him about a better gain antenna. Because what I had done, now if I, I show you, I had... I actually had the antenna mounted about five feet from this eave right here. I, I had it on a little short pole and it was behind, basically behind my roof line, okay? Because I'm, I'm facing it directly that direction. That's the clearest, uh, the, the, the closest cell phone antenna. It's, it's six miles line of sight to my nearest cell phone antenna, cell site, okay? Now there's also cell sites um, up the mountain up there and there's some cell sites there's one way back that way I don't know how many miles back and then there's another cell site way back in the mountains over there okay um, but the nearest one hopefully you guys can see this with the sun not being super super bright the nearest cell site is line of sight six miles over that mountain and that's down that's the downtown that we're at that, that's the closest town that we're, we're, we're close to and they have a cell antenna there Okay, so a little bit of ham radio stuff. This roof line, this whole roof basically acts as a ground plane or um, a reflective plane, almost like a mirror. Okay, so when you have radio, uh, radio signals, uh, they'll bounce off of mountains. They'll also bounce off of roofs almost acts like a giant dish where you'll get all those signals bouncing off the roof and then it'll it'll collect at that at that antenna. Now I originally had it back here which was kind of behind my roof line. Okay. And then what I had to do is I, I needed to get it higher. I only got a couple of bars of 3G back here. Okay. Now I wanted to get a better line of sight to the downtown area. So I bought this flag pull off of Amazon. I think it was 75 bucks. It was a thick wall aluminum. 25 foot and I mount it and I put that antenna way up there So that's a tw that's exactly 25 feet and the distance from here to the ground is probably about 20 feet So I have a, about 40 to 45 feet off the ground up high And I was able to get at times. I'll get three bars of, of 4g LTE Okay, so If you want internet access at your property, but you don't want to pay for a satellite dish internet provider um, and everybody knows HughesNet is is probably the best around as far as satellite internet is concerned but everybody knows and they admit that it's laggy uh, it, it takes a long time for that signal to get all the way up to the satellite and then the satellite to come all the way down to the ground 
and back and forth. So if you're streaming movies or um, or whatnot, you, you have to buffer quite a bit of that. Hopefully you can buffer it. And if you have any bad weather, then you're going to have a lot of disruption in your service. So uh, it, nothing compares to fiber octop, of, of course, but we are, we're out here. We're not super remote, but we're, we're a couple miles from the main highway. And it would be really expensive to run cable out here, let alone electricity or anything else. So you have, uh, you have your, your satellite internet providers. Um, that's the option. It's also expensive. They say they start at forty nine ninety five, basically fifty bucks a month, um, for decent service. That's not super super laggy. It's basically a hundred bucks a month, so that's expensive. And if I'm already going to be paying for my smartphone, and if I can get four to five bars of four G LTE and five G's coming as well, if I can get that, and I'm already paying fifty bucks a month for unlimited internet on my phone, I can stream stuff right on my phone and do all my internet stuff through my through through well my local service providers, Verizon. Um, unfortunately, they also know they have good service, so they charge for it. If I can do all that through my phone and I'm paying the one one fee for both, then, then that's what I'm going to do. So I went from zero reception to one, one to three bars of 4G LTE, 45 feet off the ground. Now, when I come back, this next spring, I didn't have a chance to get those things before we came up here. I'm going to get a higher gain antenna that's going to be around 12 dBi. Now, that gain is going to be able to pick up even uh, the less, lesser strong wavelengths. Try to say it as, as plainly as I can. Uh, the real light wavelengths of, of cell signal. And then amplify it. Now I'm also going to change the cable. The cable up there, again, it's RG213, is good, it's shielded, but it's got a little bit of line loss for, uh, for, for 75 feet. I'm actually gonna be upgrading to some better quality, some of the top quality cable you can possibly get that has the least loss. The longer you go from the top of your antenna, well, from your, from your, an, from your antenna up here, the further you go, the more loss that you have in your cable. As you, as you transmit signals or electricity through wires, some of it bleeds off. That's the easiest way I could explain it. So the longer the cable you have, the more that you bleed off. So if you have the shortest route from, from point to point, you have very little loss. Or you have the best quality cable you can that has really low loss and it's shielded. So next time I'm gonna come back with a higher gain antenna and a lower loss cable, I'm gonna change those out. Um, at some point, I'm also thinking about mounting my antenna way up here in this tree. I considered that. It's a little dangerous. I know Heath at Red Poppy Ranch had done that. And uh, he got his up as high as he could with his extension ladder. I don't know how, if he, how much further he climbed, but he, uh, <laughs> he, got, he did pretty well with his. I think he had a little better line of sight to his cell antenna. Uh, and, and I messaged him and he told me that he, he had to cut the tree down. So... He's kind of waiting to see what happens here with us. Um, the higher you go, the better line of sight you have to that cell antenna, the better, the better it's going to be. With a high, the highest gain antenna that you can find, with the best cable you can find, that's going to just amplify it. If it gives me one more bar of 4G LT, then it's going to be worth it. Then I can be off-grid with my cell and have complete cell reception for emergency services, my internet reception, um, I can download and stream, you know, whatever I like. And I'm, I'm only paying for one. I'm getting two services with just one fee. So, all right, guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope that explains some things. Um, there's not a whole lot of options when it comes to cell service out when you're remote like this, when you're off grid. And so WeBoost has come up with this system. Oh, one more thing is that Jack over at Ham Home, uh, Home, Homestead, had, had mentioned that they had put, he, he, I guess he does this for a living or he's helped people do it or something, has put up numerous of these systems, of these 4G WeBoost systems, and they work great, he said. He said there's been a few situations like us where they've had to go with a higher gain antenna and the lower loss cable, and that has solved their problem. They've worked really, really well. So I would highly recommend this. Um, Again, we're not getting any sponsorship. I wish they'd, wish they'd have given me the system. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. 
um, maybe I can reach out to this telecommunications company see if they'll uh, they'll actually let me have a uh, an antenna for for cheap uh, and some cable so I'll have to ask them and see what happens but anyway if you guys like it like hit the like button if you would please share it you know share this on uh, on Facebook or whatever um, hit that like button if you don't like the video uh, please let me leave me a comment let me know what I can do to improve it uh, what I need to do to change it uh, I want to make it as informative as I can so that you guys can all learn from from our mistakes and what we've learned and what's working and what's not working so uh, please leave me some comments down there uh, if you want to reach out to us, our, our email address is hiddenvalleyhomestead18 at gmail.com. So, all right, guys, thanks again for watching.